Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Married Life. Today, we're gonna try to sell to Style Encore. I have pretty much no experience selling to them. The one time I brought things to them, they told me that it was all too young and I needed to go to Plato's Closet. Then Plato's Closet told me it was too mature and I needed to go to Style Encore. So long story short, I've never really sold to Style Encore before, but I've had such bad luck, as y'all know if you've seen my videos, selling to Play-Dohs. A lot of people around me have said, hey, why don't you go to Style Encore? That's what I'm going to do. This is going to be the same type of format that I always do. I'm going to pull up everything, show you what it is. If they accept it at Style Encore, there will be a green check on the screen. If they don't accept it, there will be a red X. Just in case, uh, for editing purposes, if they tell me like last time that they don't accept any of this and I have to go to Play-Dohs, then I will put that somewhere on the screen. At the end of the video, I'm going to tell you how many pieces I brought up, how many pieces were accepted, and exactly how much money I made. If that sounds interesting to you, just keep watching. I'm going to just run through this pretty quickly. So um, this is kind of, I don't know, I don't know if it actually has a brand. Uh, it is a one size scarf. Just like a blue and silver shimmer scarf. I am filming this during the winter time, so hopefully that's something maybe they will like. Um, this here is a sheet in. This probably, I may have to go to Play-Dohs. Maybe I'll do some kind of editing at the end to let you know like how many pieces I sold at Style Encore and how many sold at Play-Dohs. It's just like a black halter top crop top. Um, this is a yellow tank top by Stella Luce. Not sure where that is sold at. Size medium. Yellow tank top. I actually made this pile a couple weeks back, so I'm like renewing my memory on what I actually put in here. Um, these are Old Navy leggings. I feel like my Play-Dohs will take this if uh, Style Encore doesn't. Maybe what I'll do on the screen, I'll put a P for Play-Dohs if Play-Doh takes it, if I have to bring this stuff to Play-Dohs. And then if Style Encore takes it, I'll put an S. Hopefully Style Encore takes everything and we don't even have to, that's wishful thinking. And then we don't have to even worry about it. Uh, yeah, Forever 21 green dress. Has like some cutouts, cinching at the waist. No pockets. Um, I thought this was so cute. Uh, this is a buyer, size medium. It's a wrap top with like a little bit of a peplum. Thought that was cute. Uh, this is a plain black ribbed tank top by A New Day. A good basic. Um, this is an all in motion. I think this is Target, right? Just like a beige tank top. It has really big sleeves. It's cute. All right. This one here, this is another A New Day, and this is a size 10. I feel like this is more style encore right here. This is a pair of, like, blue career pants, wide leg pants. We're going to give those a shot. Uh, this is something very similar. This is a new day. And it's like the same kind of thing, uh, but it has a drawstring. And on the back, it's kind of bedazzled. And it does have pockets on the back. All right. Um, let's see what this is. This is, it's like a surprise to me and y'all. Um, oh, is this a dress? Oh, this is a New Day size medium. Just a really pretty basic. Oh, no, no, wait. I think this is a tunic top or maybe it's a mini dress. No, this has got to be a mini dress. All right. Um, this is another dress by a New Day. Just a V-neck striped dress and let's see is there one more okay one more thing in this basket uh gap body 
So Gap, there's a little logo for Gap. This is just a, this is cute. What size is it? If this doesn't sell, maybe I'll keep it. Size small. This is cute. Am I going to put something back? No, I'll, I'll sell it. Anyway, does it have thumb holes? Ooh, I'm second guessing bringing this up there now. That's really cute. Okay, one basket down. One more to go. I did try to put some more basic pieces because everything that I bring up there with like patterns to Play-Dohs at least, they didn't take. Uh, Forever 21, new with tags. And this is, it has a low back. Um, and it's kind of like a puffy sleeve, I want to say. Maybe not. No, maybe, no, no. Not this one. I think I have another one that had the puffy sleeve. Just a pink shirt. Um, this, oh, I tried selling this to Play-Dohs one time and they didn't take it. Uh, Universal Thread, a lot of Target brands. We're going to find out if Style Encore uh, wants to buy some Target brands. I thought this was cute. Just a little long sleeve, has like the cinching at the waist. What do you kind of, what do you call this design up there with like that flutter? Not sure. Um, I think I tried to bring this to Play-Dohs one time. Uh, it's Old Navy. Just a tank top. One for all, all for one. Gray tank top. I also tried to bring these to Play-Dohs one time. They're a pair of Max skinny jeans. They're cropped. In really good condition. All this stuff is in pretty good condition. Um, MTV short sleeve t-shirt um this is a workout tank does stall on course sell like workout stuff we're gonna find out champion i think it's c9 yeah c9 by champion so isn't that isn't that target i think that's target's line uh this is a forever 21 um this is the plus line and it is a lace up top cover down below just a blue dress. Um, this is a skirt. This is Forever 21. Just like, yeah, it has some ribbing in it. Ribbed little black mini skirt. Oh, I learned from one video. I went to send this to Play-Dohs. My hair is like everywhere right now, slinging around these clothes. I went to sell this to Play-Dohs, and then I took it out my pile because I was like, oh, this doesn't have a size tag. I learned in that video that apparently this brand, Brandy Melville, had no idea this was a one size fits all. This is small. So is the whole store like a size small? That's interesting. Anyway, we're going to try that. Uh, Forever 21. I've tried this at Play-Dohs before. I feel like this is such a good piece for the holidays. So we will see. Oh, I debated listing this myself. This is Zara. And yeah, just like a perforated black tank top. Okay, so this is how I'm going to do this video. Because I feel like there's some pieces that Style Encore may find, like Brandy Melville, maybe Forever 21, they may find it like too young looking. This is what I'm going to do. This is how many pieces in total I brought up to each place. This is how many pieces Stahl Encore accepted. And this is how much I made at Stahl Encore. Then whatever didn't sell at Stahl Encore, I'm going to bring it to Play-Dohs. This is how many items I brought to Play-Dohs. And this is how much they accepted. And then this is how, I'm trying to remember, and then this is how much money I made. So hopefully all that made sense. Let me know if my results were pretty shocking. I'm hoping I can get rid of all this stuff. A lot of my friends have been telling me to go to Style Encore first instead of Play-Dohs. And apparently they pay a little bit more as well. So we're going to find out if you guys like these videos make sure to subscribe i'm going to try to do these every single month for y'all and if you're new here my name is alicia murray this channel is all about secondhand fashion so if that's something you're interested in hit that subscribe button i do try to put out daily videos here on this channel and i'd love to have you i will see y'all again tomorrow for a new fun video bye y'all